Hello and welcome. Today is uh, September 11th, 2023, and I'm here to do our weekly collective check-in, so let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels, the highest and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring hell and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, guys. So today is Monday, and I hope everyone is doing well. And so let's go ahead and get into today's reading. So for today, um, I guess I'll just focus in on Divine Masculine for this week. Um, and if it resonates for your side, uh, masculine does not have to mean gender. Okay, It could also apply to yourself as we all have masculine and feminine energy within ourselves. Um, so let's go ahead and, and check in and see what's going on. All right. Spray, can you please reveal to me clear messages in regards to the divine masculine collective? What can you reveal to me? Thank you, spirit. What is the energy vibration? What is the situation deal with masculines for this week? Oh, wow. So overall, we have here bad health. Now, I have a feeling this has something to do with work. It has something to do with uh, masculine stability. Um, for some, masculine isn't doing well. Okay. Um, it could uh, be that some of these masculines, they're promiscuous. Um, they're having, um, I guess, relationships outside of the connection with you. Uh, let's just say that you're in a monogamous relationship with the masculine. But uh, for others... Uh, what I'm feeling is that masculine is possibly um, open towards other energies, okay? Um, and they have to do a health check, okay? The other thing I'm also getting is that it doesn't have to be like a, an STD because um, immediately I felt like it was an STD. Um, if it's not an STD, I really feel like uh, this is masculine's health. So um, maybe they're deficient in vitamins. Maybe um, they're, they have mental health, physical health, you name it. it. It's something to do with stress, okay? And, and that's for others, I'm seeing specifically there's a letter M here. Um, so if you or your divine counterpart have a letter M, first or last name, uh, then that could apply to you. For for some, I have a feeling like uh, someone here is a nurse or in uh, the nursing field. Um you could uh perhaps encounter a particular masculine um in the field okay so either you work with this person if you're in a medical field um but if you're not working in the same uh you know job um i have a feeling like if you're in talking terms or you check in with this person uh someone here isn't doing so well okay um it could be lack of sleep is what i'm seeing you know, and, and for some, it, it's about a financial situation. It's something to do with finance. Okay. Okay, so if the masculine is dealing with the karmic, I see that they're not dealing with the karmic's pettiness, okay? Um, now, at the same token, masculine is acting really immature. So there's no change in the dynamic between masculine and the karmic. I have a feeling like masculines, they're really stressed out. It could be about their job. Maybe uh, they're not pulling enough income from what I can see. Uh, there's a group of people that's surrounding this masculine. And they're just trying to do the honorable thing. So they're just, okay. So what I'm hearing is that these masculines, they're working uh, extra hours. Okay, so longer than usual. 
is what I'm seeing. And they're kind of burnt out. That could be uh, another reason why um, that they have bad health. And that's what I'm seeing here. So let me go ahead and clarify. So this card wanted to escape. This is about achievement and recognition. Okay. So perhaps, you know, uh, masculine is trying to overachieve, but in the process of uh, trying to go above and beyond, um, I feel like masculine is wearing themselves out and they're burning, they're going through burnout. Yeah. So look at this. We have your finances and career. It kind of went in uh, the reverse and also nervous and stress. So I have a feeling like, yeah, they're kind of nervous and stress um, about maybe losing money or their job. Uh, maybe, you know, um, I have a feeling like either they're working a lot just to salvage um, the situation. Hold on. to salvage uh, the situation that they're currently in and um there's a lot of tension that's going on for this masculine is there anything else that we need to know so we have desire and attachment to pleasure and abuse so they're kind of letting go of being attached to a person place or thing um now this abuse could be about um Okay, I'm getting a couple of things here. Maybe they're uh, getting like, uh, you know, verbal abuse from the karmic and also physical abuse. And um, things are not doing well between the masculine and the karmic. I really feel like the focus for this week is not so much on the feminine. Um, the masculine is actually really kind of dialed in into their work situation. They're overworking and um, they're trying to uphold um, their household, especially if they're head of household. And um, there's also family, okay? I keep getting like a family situation. This could be work. But look, we have your abuse. So um, either uh, some of these masculines are abusing drugs or alcohol just to, you know, get by with whatever situation that they're in. Um, but really what I was feeling is that they're getting physical and mental abuse coming from their spouse, okay? Spouse, karmic partner, this could be a job situation. This could be a family, okay? So take it as it resonates. So um, masculines are not in a good position this week. Is there anything else, Spirit, that we need to know? Yeah. So masculines, they know that they're settling. You know, this is what I'm hearing, uh, feminine, okay, because I feel like that's my feminine collective that's watching. So masculines this week, they, they're, they're settling. Do they want to settle? No. It's just like there's too much that's going on in their life um, and a lot of drama, okay? Um, there's this nervousness or stress um, that is coming through and I really feel like they're putting themselves into work trying to keep themselves busy um, to get away from the karmic like um, you know for some they cut the karmic off and it could have been like this whole abuse situation okay um, that's what I'm seeing wow what I'm hearing is that some of these uh, karmics are also abusing drugs and alcohol and so uh, either masculine and the karma could be two peas in the pod. And, um, you know, masculine had to put their foot down like it's just too much and it's overwhelming. And they're going through financial struggles from what I can see. So at this point, this is about portrayal for the masculines. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what's going on with the tarot. So, Spirit, can you please reveal to me my messages in regards to uh, 
the masculine collective and what is their energy towards feminine and spirit can you please reveal to me what is the feminine's energy towards the masculine so with the tarot i'll try to get a little bit of both so spirit can you please reveal to me clear messages in regards to masculine and feminine for this week Okay, so I see that masculines are working on the situation and um, they can't really move forward. Um, they, they really feel that the true happiness is actually with you. They've actually been happy with you and they want to have a brand new beginning. However, there's something that's holding them back. Okay, and I really feel like this is a financial and um, they feel stuck. So, uh, so again, I don't really feel like, you know, the mask wants to stay in the situation that they're in. It's just, you know, universe made it really difficult for the mask to kind of get out of a situation. I really feel like it, it's done on purpose so that the mask can uh, make a hard or firm decision to not go back um and settle okay because this week um they're aware that they're actually settling but it's not like they want to they want to get out of it um and i really feel like for some if, if this is on a subconscious level um they're slowly getting bits and pieces to like piece their way out of the situation okay because everyone's timing is a little bit different here so masculines, okay, they're not happy. Um, they really want to get out of like um, the situation. I feel like this is with the community of people. This could be uh, friends, family, coworkers, okay, um, everything that we saw in the very beginning. And um, what I'm seeing also is that um, with the three of cups, masculines, um, they really want to reconcile with the feminine okay but uh right now they're the they're in the karmic energy okay it was really kind of hard for me to say that but um we're still in the mercury retrograde guys okay at the end of the week we'll, we'll be uh going forward we're gonna um everything is going to shift forward uh so that's something to look forward to right but this is like the final stretch um, and, you know, masculines are still dealing with the karmic, okay? So how do they feel? So here we are, masculines, they're watching the feminine, okay? They can't really put any physical effort into the connection. And I really feel like it's because they still got something going on with the karmic here. So again, uh, feminine, you know, if you're wondering about the masculine, I would say, you know, do you boo boo? Okay, this week is not about reunion. It's it's more or less, you know, just do more for yourself, make plans. Um, we have a new moon in Virgo that is happening, I believe, on Thursday of this week, and so once that happens around uh, the new moon, okay, things will start to shift. So um, I guess just make a list at this point. Um, so what does the masculine want? Masculine really wants to offer the feminine their love, a love, an apology. Um, they want to express their feelings. However, they're in their head. They're afraid of gossip. They're afraid of what other people might say or think. Okay. Um, especially if they're still uh, in the situation with the karmic. So I really feel like they need to really close out uh, the chapter over there or at least you know firmly tell the karmic no they they want to move on with their life and um they're not dealing with them anymore um i really feel like that's what's necessary for the masculines to really voice towards the karmic if that is what they want during this retrograde okay so if they've reflected on what what it, what they want okay they want to give this cup towards the feminine they um they are thinking of uh reconciling with the feminine but they have to uh put an end towards the conflict okay which is with this group of people so uh what are the actions that masculine wants to take well so masculines they really want to show up towards the feminine okay we have here the empress so um maybe they're trying to do um 
something a little bit shady, guys. Okay, I'm not going to lie. So I have a feeling like Maslin still hasn't closed out the situation with the karmic. And even if like, you know, there's loose ends, um, they still want to approach the feminine. Okay, I really feel like these masculines, um, they have their eye on the feminine. Uh, they really want to, you know, um, you know, give you an offer. They want to invest into uh, the relationship, the connection, whatever that you have with the masculines up to this point. And um they're not going to do it in, in the best way, okay? Um, at least that that's what I'm saying. Now, what is the challenge? Well, look at this. The challenge is to really be in their integrity and do what's right. So again, so masculine, okay? If you're watching this, you know, if, if you still have loose ends with the karmic, you guys are still like fresh fighting. You know, now's not the time to open up towards the feminine. I see that masculines, they really are looking at the feminine. They want to approach the feminine. They want to offer their feelings uh, towards the feminine. But, you know, again, you're afraid of gossip. You're afraid of being judged. And, um, you know, if you're feeling like that, it's because you haven't really completely closed the door on the karmic situation. And um, if you haven't done it completely, at least to the point where the karmic is aware that uh, the masculine doesn't want to, uh, you know, um, really do anything with the karmic. Okay, like they have to really put their foot down and really voice their opinion and say, hey, like, you know, um, we can't do this no more, you know. Um, you know, this is it. This is final. Um, I want to go my separate ways. I want to get a divorce or, you know, I have someone else I want to be with, whatever that thing is. Okay. So it has to be known towards the karmic. Okay. Before the masculine could really feel that they're doing the right thing, that they're standing in their integrity and that they don't have loose ends before they open up towards the feminine. Okay. I definitely do see that there is a bit of temptation. Okay. And I haven't seen the devil yet, but there's a lot of freaking major arcana in this spread. Okay. So, uh, and the, the outcome Okay, so masculines are just waiting for the right time. I'm seeing here three days, three weeks um, to really get over like them not being happy. I really feel like in the past four months, okay, um, they haven't been like, they haven't, they haven't really been happy, period. Okay, um, they've been waiting and waiting. Maybe, you know, they're trying to uh, work it out with the karmic and things aren't really progressing. And um, look, so they're really uh, def defending themselves about like, you know, getting out of their relationship with the family. Okay. Again, I, you know, last week, I believe that it was about the family situation. This week, um, I see masculines really defending themselves to really, you know, get a divorce or um, there's a loss of money. There's something like that. Okay. Divvying up of assets, maybe a sale of a home. Okay, it's also another thing I'm also seeing. So there, there's a lot here on the line. Um, masculines, they really want to uh, open up towards you, feminine. I feel like this is more spiritual rather than physical because right now they feel like they don't have nothing. So if this masculine were to come towards you right now, they would actually have nothing to offer, at least in the physical. Okay, spiritually, uh, they love you. They, they want to connect with you. But in the physical, in the matrix, in the 3D, um, they feel like they don't have much to offer. Okay. So they're kind of stuck in their head um, about walking away uh, from, I want to say everything. Um, okay. So I'm getting to uh, two messages here with this Queen of Swords in reverse and the Eight of Cups in reverse. I have a feeling like masculines had to go back towards the karmic um because the karmic kind of cut them off okay i really feel like masculine and the karmic they, they actually had an argument and so that's why there's no closure there so it's really hard for the masculine to just like you know put an end to it if uh, the karmic kind of left them high and dry okay especially if the karmic like cut them off at least that's what i'm seeing 
Um, also, uh, the masculines, they want to come back if they cut you off. Feminine, if they ghosted you, if they stopped talking to you, I definitely see that this masculine wants to come back. Okay, look, we have here the hermit. Okay, um, and we're in Virgo season. And so um, masculines are really thinking a lot. Okay, look, the hangman trying to get inspiration, trying to get the answers. You know, really doing a lot of thinking here. Okay, maybe they're thinking about like how the karmic is treating them or how this masculine treated you. So it's like, you know, karmic, right? Um, where somebody treated someone in a certain way and it went back full circle. Okay, so I see that masculine here is wounded. Okay, <laughs> because the karmic kind of... Um, the karmic had expectations. Now, remember in the very beginning, okay, masculines, they're not giving in to the expectations of the karmic, okay, because this card came up in reverse, so they're not going to give in to the karmic's uh, beck and call, okay? So, um, you know, if the karmic, you know, uh, you know, had expectations on the masculine to provide for them, to to give them whatever that they want because they always had to. I, I have a feeling like they had an argument where they're not going to do it anymore, okay? So, you know, again, you know, there could have been abuse, a lot of, like, hitting. Um, I'm hearing fighting, you know, bad talking. I don't know what's going on here, but there there is a little bit of tension is what I'm feeling. And I see the karmic in this reading like a few times. So I have a feeling like masculine is dealing with the karmic um, in the 3D, but in the 5D or through their mind, mind to mind tele telepathic connection uh, with the feminine, the spiritual connection, they're definitely connecting with you if you've been thinking of them. Okay. Uh, if you feel like, you know, you've been, they've been on your mind, well, they have been thinking of you feminine okay like they've been thinking of you but it's not time yet i i feel that it's it's soon possibly in the next couple of weeks i feel like these masculines are going to be contacting the feminine at least that's what i'm saying but you know there's a situation here dealing with the karmic and um, yeah, it's not over. Like the karmic is in here like three times, guys. So, I mean, that's why I really felt like, you know, maybe I shouldn't be focusing on the feminine for this week. I really feel like there's something going on with the masculine and I'm seeing it here. The karmic's energy is all over this reading. Okay, like the karmic is ma uh, manipulating them. They're not uh, giving the masculine closure that they want. They're holding on. Okay, the universe is making it very difficult for the masculine to cut off the karmic for whatever reason. And, um, you know, everyone's situation is going to be different. But I see it in here a lot. So like masculines, they, they have a lot of love. They want to offer their feelings. Um they're no longer like, you know, um, in that uh, energy of not knowing, okay? However, um, it's not the right time, okay? It's not the right time because they need to get out of the situation of the karmic first. Yeah, but right now their pride and ego is getting in the way. So, I know, right? There's a lot going on, guys, that I see. So I'm really curious. Now that I see what's going on between masculine and the feminine, I just wanted to see what's going on with masculine and the karmic. So this is a karmic reading. <laughs> Let's see what's going on in a karma land, right? <laughs> Spirit, can you please uh, reveal to me what is the energy uh, with the karmic and masculine? Can you please tell me what is going on with the karmic and a divine masculine? What is the situation? Because uh, the feminine collective would like to know. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so there's a lot of spying. Okay, a lot of planning, a lot of like looking to see what the other person is doing. And look, um, like, you know, the one is, is upside down. So uh, again, there's no passion, there's no movement. 
um, to like, I don't know, seven of pentacles in reverse, you know, things are stagnant, you know, there, there's no growth uh, in this a love connection. And I see that both of them are thinking about communicating um, about maybe uh, the truth. Okay, why is such and such shady? You know, who is hiding who, you know, or what? And um, I see that masculine is wanting to at least make some sort of offer. Okay, maybe they're a father, maybe again, head of household, take it as it resonates. And um, that's why they can't end it. So, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I really feel like masculines, you know, they're uh, enabling, you know, holding on to the situation by not cutting off the karmic completely. And it's like this whole back and forth. They're trying to like, you know, uh, patch up, you know, whatever situation that they're in. Okay. That's why masculine here is really burdened. And, um, you know, again, it's about not, not being able to give enough. So is it ever enough? I really feel like maybe the karmic feels like it's not enough. And, um, I see that, you know, they could be, uh, you know, making amends. All right. And like masculine wanting to give an offer towards the karmic. I really feel like this is financial. It's money. It's all that the masculine can really give at this point. Um, and like, you know, three of cups energy. So this is the karmic. But also the three of cups is about reconciliation. Reconciling with what? Money. Okay. So um, again, a, a materialistic relationship, right? So masculines, they don't really have like much, you know, feelings to offer at this point. Um, again, with the six of wands, you know, uh, they're just playing, playing, I want to say a role and it's not over yet between those two. And um, it's just, it's not working out. Okay. I see that masculine here is trying to be mature and offering their emotions towards the karmic you know, again, because why um, they've chosen uh, to make this solid offer towards the karmic. Um, and uh, again, it's about them being judged. Okay. So again, worrying about what other people think, you know, maybe, you know, they built like a nuclear family, you know, and how are they being portrayed towards, towards the outside? And I just see that masculine wants to communicate um, that they want to be fair, but here is the karmic trying to make it hard on the mask on. It's not enough. It's not enough. You know, um, I see that they are trying to work on things. Okay. But, uh, it's not going anywhere. So this is like, you know, dragging things out. I'm not going to lie. It's like, when is it going to end? How much longer are they going to drag things out? Right. So, you know, what I'm seeing is that masculines, they had a lot of time to really think, okay, uh, they've been really patient. Uh, the karmic here, okay, they're really focused on the family. They've been patient with the masculine also. So I definitely see that, the, you know, both the masculine and the karmic, they are trying to make their whole family situationship work. Um, I see that uh, how masculine feels is that masculine is really wanting to... Uh, go forward but do you see that masculine is not really going towards the karmic uh, they're actually going this way so um you know whatever that they hope and wish for i really feel like they want to like go in this direction okay now here's the karmic they're upside down they're not their wish is to not really invest into this so i really feel like it's like you know how the feminine uh, energy is, right? Um, you know, very to themselves. Uh, it's all about me. Um, feminine is the energy of receptivity. Masculine isn't really giving towards the karmic energy. Okay. Um, so, and mas uh, uh, the karmic is actually standing their ground, standing really firm about how um they are in front of this masculine so i see the masculines you know they're not really um 
they're holding themselves back from ending this relationship with the karmic. I see that there, if there's a marriage, I feel like the marriage is kind of upside down. Okay, I really feel like uh, the karmic is manifesting the marriage. This is what I'm hearing. If if this is a marital situation, uh, the karmic, okay, they're trying to make themselves look really good, by the way. Um, and I'm not saying that all karmics are bad, okay? Some are uh, and some aren't. But whoever I'm channeling, whoever this karmic is, they're going to manipulate so that they can get whatever they can from this divorce. So that's why I saw that mask was, was making an offer of money towards the karmic because that's all that the karmic really wants. And I saw that mask they didn't want to give more than what the karmic really needs. But the karmic, I really feel like they're trying to get all that and then some. Okay. Now, in the outcome... I see that masculines are using their intuition because right now um, they're not very stable. And I really feel like the karmic is making a decision because, you know, they're they're not 100% also. Uh, masculines really feeling stuck and they're, they're not happy. Okay. And I feel like this karmic wants to get out of feeling like, you know, um, there's not enough in this situation. They're kind of sad too from what I can see. And I feel like masculine wants to let go. Okay, because they're hurt. And I see that the karmic is looking at their options. Masculine is saying that it's time to let go of the toxicity. Okay, time to, to detach. Okay, but the karmic doesn't want to detach. I really feel like, okay, this is like either holding a grudge, having resentment, you know, trying to get whatever they can. If masculine is, it has brought up, you know, a divorce or getting out of a relationship or a situation. Okay. So it's like, you know, using whatever am ammunition that they have for their own benefit. I mean, unfortunately, that, that's what I'm seeing that's going on with this uh, karmic relationship. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's what I'm seeing there. I know, right, guys? Man, that sucks. That sucks for masculine. <laughs> just saying all right so let's see what are the love messages that this mask going like to say towards the feminine the timing just wasn't right yeah so the time isn't right right now and they needed to learn from this karmic okay so many signs point to you so this masculine knows that you're something special okay feminine is there anything else Uh, I may be, uh, I may be cold on the outside, but deep down inside, my feelings are there. So they may have acted cold towards you, feminine, but you know, um, they're hiding their emotions. I saw the King of Cups out there twice in the upright position. It was for you know, for the the karmic and also for the feminine. You know, so masculines, I really feel like they're coming in with a level of maturity on how they feel. Okay, they're not holding back and they're not hiding the situation. But I really feel like they know that the karmic is is in it to win it. Okay, I, I don't know how else to put it, but uh, that's what it seems like. So is there a final message uh, spared from the masculine towards feminine? When you are far from me, I feel cold. But when I see you, I get hot all over. You do something to me that no one ever has. So, yeah. So... I really feel like uh, the passion is still there um, from this masculine. You know, if they're like hot and cold energy, um, I definitely see that, you know, they're hiding, you know, their true emotions, um, at least in the past, you know, even up to right now. But if they're dealing with the karmic and the physical sense, um, yeah, there's trouble in paradise and they need to hash it out, guys. Okay. <laughs> So let me go ahead and wrap up this reading and see what is going on with the Akashic Records. So Sperry, can you please reveal to me for this collective, what is the Akashic Record for this week? What can you reveal to me about uh, the Masculine and Feminine Collective? What is going on with the Akashic Message? <clears throat> Mm 
clearing the way now you know my throat was all like <clears throat> it need to be cleared <laughs> i don't know what else to say four keys Mm -hmm. Okay, so it says a man and woman have taken their carriage down a trail that cuts through the forest and continues to their beautiful home in a distance. A large down tree lies before them, blocking their path. However, the young man carries an axe and is ready to clear the way. This card is a strong signal that now is the time to take significant action to remove an obstruction in your way. It may be in your personal life, in a relationship, at work, or with a creative project. You must be clear-headed, so be sure to temper your action with calm and forethought if you are too urgent and um, excitable you may waste your energy or even cause damage on the other hand if you're overly gentle and cautious you won't clear the way completely be determined and strong as you work to remove the obstacle that blocks your steps with time and your attention the way to your dreams will be open Okay, now this is what I was talking about in the very beginning, and I really see that, um, you know, uh, spirit is coming through with this message. Now, I was talking about the masculines and how they haven't really severed ties with the karmic, okay? They have to put their foot down and say no. They have to say, no, uh, I can't do this anymore. No, I can't give you X, Y, and Z. No, you can't have the house. No. Uh, you can't get this. If I give you the house, you can't have that too. You know, something like that. Because I have a feeling like there's some sort of negotiation and a lot of thinking that is going on between masculine and the karmic. Okay. So, I mean, again, feminine, I know that you want a romantic rendezvous with the masculine. But what I'm seeing is that they need a clear way. They're sitting there with the karmic. Okay, they got that house on the other side. There's obstacles. I really feel like this is about a house. Somebody needs to sell their house or sell property, um, split assets. They have a car, you know, maybe they have one car. And then they have to really think about maybe they live out in the woods. You know, maybe they live like in the boondocks or something, you know, and they need to clear the way. This is all about stability. It's about money. It's finances. And that's what I'm seeing. Um, you know, someone here works a lot and then the other person, you know, they just sit in their carriage riding that horse. Okay. They just look good. Okay. Or try to look good. And do you see like, you know, this uh, female, she was wearing like something, you know, presentable. And then uh, the masculine energy is, uh, you know, got his uh, sleeves rolled up. He's ready to whack that tree down <laughs> off the road. It may take a while, but, you know, um, it's time to get the job done. That's what I have, guys. So, you know, I really feel like this is the week of really um, thinking about what you want to do, you know. And, and look, if you go easy, you're not going to get the job done. Um, if you go too fast, uh, you might have to, to, you know, revisit this in the next Mercury retrograde. Okay. Be firm in your decision of what you want and clear the way, clear out the clutter. Um, you know, th that's the thing, chop wood, carry water situation. If you're doing like the whole mundane everyday task and, you know, um, maybe it's time to have like something significant, like chopping, uh, a tree that is blocking your path. It's time to really, you know, cut right through things. That's what I have, guys. So really think about it. Okay. And this also can apply to my feminines who is watching this. Um, so really think about, you know, what are things that you need to do to clear the way? Um, is there anything that's really blocking uh, you and masculine? You know, and if this isn't about masculine, you know, this is about self because, you know, as I talk about twin flame connections, 
You know, it's not so much about another person. It's about yourself. You know, what can you do to really um, clear your body, your speech and your mind? You know, are you like, you know, preventing yourself to, you know, be the best that you can be? You know, I really feel like for this week, it's time of reflecting. And then as, you know, Mercury goes direct and we have the new moon on Thursday, um, it's time to manifest like these new energies. So I really feel um, super excited about next week, <laughs> next week's reading. So if you guys want to tune in, um, check it out. So that's what I have, guys. So I really hope that that was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for watching. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, um, you can do so. Uh, the link is in the description box below. And um, I didn't take down uh, the the summer love thing. Um, I'll do it on, let's say, the 15th. Let me, I'll, I'll give you guys until that. If you guys book a reading by the 15th, um, you can use the coupon code summer love. And then after that, um, then it's back to regular price. Okay, guys. <laughs> so thank you again, and I'll see you next week. All right. Bye bye.